I'm a writer, blogger, editor and public speaker. I specialise in storytelling and love writing blogs, case studies, websites and any other long form piece of engaging content including white papers and capability statements. I have a theatre and writing background and I love bringing a bit of drama and creative writing to my copy. Oh, I think it's so important because we make decisions based on our emotions and stories connect with people on an emotional level. It's about connecting with the authentic, sometimes vulnerable part of the people behind the enterprise and taking your audience along with you on that ride. From my experience, I find people are generally more interested in the why behind your enterprise rather than the what. Stories allow you to tell people why you do what you do and why it matters. And stories can be more inclusive. I encourage businesses and social enterprises to tell a story on their website or their About Us page rather than have a list of your credentials because I think people are more cynical about the, the hard sell. They'd rather read and be involved in a, in a gripping story. Social media is great because you can use different mediums to tell a story. You've got, you've got video, you've got audio, you've got podcasts, and people consume content in so many different ways now. It allows your client base to become a part of or shape your story through polls, through comments, through reactions, through shares. And it also allows social enterprises to give bite-sized chunks of your story. So over time, people can build a multifaceted, multidimensional view of your social enterprise and they'll look forward to your posts. And another benefit is it's never fixed. The story is agile and evolving in front of our eyes and that's lovely and compelling to, to see and read when done well. Good writing can stand the test of time, but a website should be updated regularly. It's not a good look when your services or info is out of date or no longer relevant. Your blogs need to be topical, but they also need to be consistent with your brand's voice. In this current climate where a lot of social enterprises and businesses in general have to pivot, the pivot still needs to make sense and your services that you are going to offer need to make sense and be communicated in a way that is true to your social enterprise and its values and identity. Good copy has a narrative or thread running through it that keeps you credible and relevant and maintain the integrity of your social enterprise and brand. I think it's really important to focus on real world examples and case studies. Be individual and be specific with your stories. When you receive a letter from a charity, the most compelling ones are the ones that go into a real impact statement, a real story of how the charity has changed, benefited their lives. Tell us about your passions and how you make the world a better place. Tell us about how you are solving a problem and ask yourself the big hairy questions. Why does it matter? Always include the reader. You is a very powerful word to have in your vocabulary um, and use it wisely. Avoid jargon. So if you have to use a technical word that is specific to your niche or your industry, use it, but explain it. And if you have to do an acronym, spell it out first, and then you can use the acronym later on. But jargon and acronyms do run the danger of alienating your reader. So be very mindful of that. Think about the stories you like to read. What elements did you enjoy and why? What type of voice did they use? What kind of language did they use? What kind of pacing did they use and finally give yourself permission to outsource if you need to you may not enjoy writing you may not enjoy storytelling you may not have the time to do it um, find somebody that will, will fit those those gaps that you have this is not just solely social enterprises it's businesses in general but I do think social enterprises will feel it more keenly and that is time and budget um, and having limited time and limited budget. There are so many factors of a business to consider and to juggle and copywriting is a really important one, but it's still a pressure. So copywriting is an investment and it is an important investment, but you can find volunteers that might be willing to help you. You can find a, a copywriter that's willing to give you a discounted rate 
or you could perhaps do a, a contra deal where you give somebody access to your your classes or your or your offering in exchange you can be flexible and creative around time and and budget another problem that social enterprises and charities face is that your messaging can come from a place of scarcity or fear if you're not mindful and that really can turn people off so it's much better to be positive and have an inspiring tone working with someone who's got experience in in branding and storytelling can really help you create the right tone create the right messaging so that the content is inspiring and empowering and equipping not fear-mongering and and panicking another one is sometimes there can be too many ideas competing for attention so you might have some great ideas and a great range of skills and and all of these different services that you could offer but it's more important to have clarity it's more important to distill it down to well, what's your unique selling point what what do you do what do you offer that's different and really hone in on that and and be clear and be concise another one is an idea of the way writing should be most of us have an inner critic that sits on our shoulder and says oh that's rubbish or you've done that wrong in the first draft you need to just write and turn the inner critic off if you love writing read and and go to a writing course sometimes the best writing happens when you're not actually sitting at a computer it's when you're walking it's when you're pounding the pavements and I know that's more difficult to do in this current climate but if you can walk around the block and get some fresh air that can also reignite the the writer in you and an, an idea of the way writing should be can also be very restrictive if you're if you've got too many haves or um you have to do this or you should write like this or you must so instead try and turn that around because I believe this storytelling is great when the writer brings an element of play um, and takes risk and and brings in some of that drama that I talked about earlier and and finally another challenge is exposure in a saturated market and I think it's particularly related to compassion fatigue in this current challenging times that we're in there's so many things pulling on our heartstrings and and vying for our attention that we can feel compassion fatigue and we can think oh it's all too hopeless it's all too much so again a social enterprise needs to be inspiring and needs to tell a gripping story and needs to be relatable and needs to be inclusive and that can help relieve some of the compassion fatigue and and bring a bit of, of fun and light into the world